Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's a quick video. I want to show you an alternative way to prune your tomato plants. If you want to subscribe, I have a whole series going on for 2023 on how to grow and take care of tomato plants. I have to get down there, continue to prune out the bottom of the leaves, create that splash barrier between the soil and the lower leaves of the tomato plant. There's always that question, do I remove suckers from my tomato plants? We covered that. And yes, you can remove the suckers out of the joint and that helps manage the size. But at some point, you know, when your plants, you know, are, these are almost four feet tall, sometimes those suckers turn into full production stems. They continue to grow. They produce leaves and flowers and leaves and flowers, and they get a little bit out of control. You don't have to remove an entire stem. The alternative method is pretty cool because you're letting the suckers in the joints of your plants grow usually grow a leaf, a leaf, then a flower cluster, then a leaf, a leaf again. And that pattern's what you're looking for. So right here, this is a production, this is a sucker that really kind of grew into a big production stem. Suckers will always grow into vines that produce flowers and fruit. I don't want this to keep going. I already have enough. I have one stem, two stem, three stem, four stems right there. So I'm going to just look up the plant flower, leaves, leaves, leaves. That's going to bring energy in. And then when you see another flower cluster, right up here is the tip. Let me get the scissors on there. I'm going to cut the tip. That will stop it from continuing to grow. But above the flowers, right here, I have one leaf, two leaf, three leaves. That will shade the tomatoes growing. That will bring in energy. But by topping that production stem, you're going to get the extra fruit by leaving clusters of flowers, but it's not going to keep growing out of control. Let's find a couple more examples. Let me just show you two the suckers. So here's a leaf coming out right here, a stem coming up, and right in that joint is where a sucker forms. At this point, you could just cut it and remove it because we don't want that to form a whole production stem. That will continue to grow. It will grow into something like this. Here is a leaf right there. The main stem on this side here and that's a sucker that was just that small and it continues to grow and as it grows it gets a leaf a leaf and then a flower cluster will form right in there I don't want that so I'm gonna cut this off right there notice on both of them there aren't any flowers yet at about the size that I just cut that's where you're really removing the sucker and you're not worrying about it but you could have you could have a situation like this where I have the tomato main stem growing up the stake and I'm going to keep, you know, letting that grow all the way up. Down here, one of the suckers grew into that production stem. Again, leaf, leaf, leaf. Here's a flower cluster, a leaf right there, a leaf right here. I'm just going to top it rather than remove it. Let's make sure it's in there. There we go. So this flower cluster will be supported by one leaf, two leaf, and I've stopped it from growing and getting larger. Here's another example. That's the main stem. That's the stem that's actually connected to the earth. Going up here, and I will continue to tie this stem right up the stake. The sucker in here, there's the leaf, there's that stem, and then this was the sucker that has grown into something bigger. Leaf, leaf, it's going to bring in energy. Another leaf, Right in here, the flower cluster is forming, and there's one leaf above it. You can leave a leaf or two. You're really looking for surrounding leaves to stay on that production stem to support the tomato. And I'm just going to cut the tip. This way, I'm going to get this cluster of flowers to fruit, and I'll have more tomatoes on there, and the leaves on here will support this growth. You don't have to remove it all the way down there. Now that's kind of managing the size. Maybe the season's progressing, your plants are getting taller, the cool weather is coming in, and it's not gonna be for a while, but you're starting to be concerned. You want your plant to start producing and finish up. I mean, let's say we have about four weeks left, maybe before the tomatoes really stop producing. This is one of the main stems that I've been letting grow on my plant, and you can see a nice cluster of tomatoes forming. You would just go up to the top and you can stop it from growing. Right there, snip it, leaf, leaf, another cluster of flowers, and then this whole stem will just kind of concentrate on taking care of the fruit up here, the future fruit 
right up there, the fruit that's already forming right there. And you can go through that and do that with all of these plants. Let me find another one. Here's a nice one. We have flower clusters right here, leaf, leaf, bringing in the energy, and then more flowers. And this one's a little bit tricky because right here, let me get closer, are some flowers. And I'm just going to get right above it, hopefully, and stop it from growing. So now, oh, I missed it. Let's try it again real quick. And that flower cluster will flower, form tomatoes, and the vine itself, this part of the vine, has stopped growing. And it's just a nice way to manage the size of your plants, get some extra production, because you're basically, instead of going in there and finding a sucker, let's find one, like this, and removing it, we're letting it grow, flower cluster, a couple of leaves, and remove it. And you can do that in the joint of your tomato plants, all the way down from the beginning. Like here's a sucker starting to form. Instead of removing it now, I might just let it do one cluster of flowers and then I top it off. So I'm getting more tomatoes, but I'm not getting that extra vine growth everywhere. Now, maybe the video wasn't as quick as I said it would be, but the idea, you know, it's a pretty quick idea to understand, but I really wanted to show you how to do it because some people use a single stem, double stem method, and they also use this method. What do I mean by that? So if you were growing a single stem, you basically have the main stem that's in the earth, and as it grows up, leaf, there would be a sucker in there, you remove them. And you just keep going up the plant, flowers form, form tomatoes, keep going up here, and then I let it turn into two stems, so this becomes a double stem. And you would let this stem grow up, and you're just really maintaining two main growing stems. So that means everywhere you would find the sucker, here's one, in that joint you would remove it. Instead of removing it and just keeping two stems, you can keep two stems and a partial sucker, which means you let it grow to a size, there is the cluster of flowers, and instead of removing it, we're just going to find the top. Let me make sure I find it. All right, it's right there, and I'm just going to cut it off. This cluster will form flowers, form fruit, but it's not going to keep growing anymore. And it's just a way, again, to bring more tomatoes in. Let's see if I can find one more example. Here's a good example. The main stem that I'm keeping is right there, kind of growing up this way. And I kind of missed pruning some of this. So there's a lot of suckers growing. So that was a little tiny sucker starting to grow up. I'm going to come over to here and find where the flowers are. And the flowers are right there. Again, instead of removing the whole plant, I'm just going to get in and a little tricky one-handed and cut the top off. That will let the flowers form into fruit and you're going to get more tomato plants that way. But you're still containing the size because you're stopping it from growing from this point right here and continuing, continuing to grow out that way. And you can do that for your plants helps contain the size, you get more fruit, and you're not necessarily saying, I have to remove every sucker from the joint. You're letting it grow a cluster of flowers, and then you're sort of just topping it off. Topping it off and just ending its growth. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and experiment with this. You know, let those suckers form a couple clusters of flowers, just top them off, and you'll be surprised that you get a whole lot more tomatoes, but you are really managing the size of the plant. Thanks for watching.